The Odyssey comes with two keyless remotes. When paired with a vehicle, customized settings for two different drivers can be retrieved with the touch of a button. Note that the remote's buttons employ concave and convex shapes to make the remote easier to use by touch in low light conditions. You can use the remote to lock and unlock the doors on your Odyssey from up to 50 feet away. On EX models and above, you can also use the remote to open all of the windows to cool the interior of the vehicle on a hot day. On touring models, you can store more personalized settings for up to two different drivers and then retrieve them when unlocking the vehicle with a corresponding remote. To use the remote, you'll first need to pair it to the vehicle. This is done by pressing and holding the lock and unlock buttons simultaneously until the LED lights flash. The instructions for this procedure can be found on the back of the remote. Before you begin configuring the Odyssey to your preferences, make sure the vehicle is in park and the ignition is turned to the on position. Now, take a seat behind the steering wheel and use the buttons that adjust the driver's seat until it's in your desired position. You can save this seat position using the button labeled Memo and the Driver 1 and Driver 2 buttons found in the driver's side door. Press and release the Memo button you'll hear a beep. Now, without hesitation, press and hold the Driver 1 button, if you're using the Driver 1 remote, until you hear two beeps. A light on this button will illuminate. That's your cue that your desired seat position has been stored. A second driver can repeat this procedure using the Driver 2 button. Note that the positions of the adjustable pedals and power mirrors cannot be saved for retrieval through the remote. Now, when you return to the Odyssey after someone else has driven it, you can restore the driver's seat to your desired position simply by unlocking the vehicle using your remote. On touring models, a host of other customized memory settings can be configured via the Odyssey's Multi-Information Display, or MID for short. The MID is located in the instrument panel just below the speedometer. With the vehicle in park and the ignition switch in the on position, press and hold the info button located in the lower right-hand quadrant of the steering wheel. In a few seconds, a customized entry for driver 1 will appear in the MID. You will now have access to menus for configuring your Odyssey to your preferences. These menus include meter setup, position setup, lighting setup, door window setup, and wiper setup. Meter setup allows you to choose the language you'd like the system to display in the MID. English, French, or Spanish. You can also use this menu to adjust for discrepancies between the vehicle's onboard outside temperature gauge and other sources. And you can set the trip odometer to automatically reset to zero each time you refill the gas tank. The position setup menu allows you to turn off the custom settings so that they are not linked to the remote. The default setting for this menu is on. With the lighting setup menu, you can set the length of time the interior lights stay on when you open and close a door. Choose from 15, 30, or 60 seconds. You can also customize the amount of time it takes for your headlights to automatically switch off. Door window setup offers customized settings for the door locks such as the auto lock feature, keyless lock acknowledgement, and security relock time. The wiper setup menu allows you to configure the windshield wipers so that they are controlled either by the intermittent wiper mechanism or synced to the vehicle speed. There are two ways to move from one menu to the next. You can either press and release the Info button on the steering wheel to scroll through a menu, then press and release the Select Reset button just below it to enter a menu. Or you can use a knob just to the right of the MID in the instrument panel. Turn the knob left or right to scroll through a menu. Press it to enter a menu. For example, if you wanted to set the door locks so that they are automatically engaged when you shift the Odyssey's transmission out of park,
you would first scroll through the menu either by turning the knob in the instrument panel or pressing and releasing the info button in the steering wheel. When you get to the door window setup menu, press the knob or press the select reset button to bring up the auto door lock option. Press the knob or press the Select Reset button again to access the Setting options. Off, VSP for Vehicle Speed, Shift from Park, and Exit. Turn the knob or press the Info button to highlight your desired option. In this case, Shift from Park. Then either press the knob or press the Select Reset button to save the setting. Repeat this procedure for all other customized settings. Note that for safety's sake, you cannot access these settings while the Odyssey is in motion. Some customized settings can also be stored on EX, EXL and Touring models, even though they do not offer a multi-informational display. Additional functionality on these models allows all of the doors to be unlocked with a single push of a button. This feature can be programmed by pushing the right sliding door button and the lock button on the keyless remote at the same time. Be sure to consult the owner's manual for complete instructions and the use of the Odyssey's customized memory settings.